The following segment is sponsored by Smith Injury Law and 300hurt.com. If you've been injured in an accident and there's a legal case, one mistake people make is to ignore the conduct or the misconduct of the defendant who caused the crash. Richard Smith from Smith Injury Law is with us this morning. Hi, Richard. Good morning, Margaret. And we're talking punitive damages then. What are punitive damages designed to do? They're designed to punish the conduct of the defendant. And that's very important because um, actual damages are your medical bills, lost wages, your permanent injuries, your future medical costs. But punitive damages are designed to punish misconduct. Right. And, and I think in general, people assume those are situations that are obvious. The defendant is driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol. But there are other situations to look into as well, right? Absolutely. Excessive speed is one. Somebody's mm -hmm. going... 10 or 15 miles an hour over the speed limit, or if they run a red light stop sign, or also if they're texting while driving. That's another thing that I think just about every county in, uh, in the state of South Carolina now makes it illegal. And if you're texting while driving, that's a violation of a statute. Yep. And an, an experienced attorney is going to spend time learning about the conduct of the defendants and really looking into the situation. How big of a difference does that end up making? I have very large difference most of the time. I mean, sometimes we get cases that are worth double the amount without punitive damages being uh, involved, sometimes more than that. It all depends on the injury and the conduct and also the, uh, the effectiveness of the attorney who is arguing that position for their client. Well, we know you're one of the experienced attorneys who takes time to look into all of those uh, factors. Tell us about Smith Injury Law and the types of cases you handle. Well, we handle automobile accident cases, as we talked about, in South Carolina and North Carolina. We also handle workers' compensation claims and Social Security disability claims. And if, if somebody is injured due to the fault of somebody else, we definitely want to hear from you. Uh, those are our primary practice areas. Excellent. Well, people can get in touch with you. 300 Hurt is the number, or visit 300hurt.com. Richard Smith, Smith Injury Law, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you, Margaret.